All right, here's my first attempt at duping the Nectar Bath Treats body scrub. I duped some other body scrubs in the past too, like these Tree Hut body scrubs. I'll have these videos linked down below. I also have a video that goes into so much detail about formulating body scrubs in case you wanna customize your own. Hey, my name is Tara and I formulate skincare products. I have so many videos on how to formulate, check out my formulating for beginner series if you wanna learn how to create your own products from scratch. But today we are going to attempt to dupe the Nectar Bath Treats Sugar Crush Sugar Body Scrub. That name's a tongue twister. It's actually a pretty simple body scrub ingredient list. And the main ingredients, as you can see, is sugar and coconut oil. And we have shea butter, we have almond oil, settle alcohol, fragrance, preservative, the cranberry seeds, and then just coloring. I don't have almond oil, so I'm using sunflower oil instead. And other than that, I'm just taking a shot in the dark and taking a guess on how much there is of each ingredient. So here we go. First up, we have phase A, and I'm gonna add in 20 grams of subtle alcohol. And then I'm gonna add in eight grams of emulsifying wax and F. And then I'll add 22 grams of sunflower oil, but you can use almond oil or whatever liquid oil you want that is kind of like lighter weight. 60 grams of coconut oil. Who knows if they're actually using this kind of coconut oil. They could be using like a liquid form of coconut oil. I don't know, but this is what we're gonna do. And then I'm using 40 grams of shea butter. They could be using way less. I don't really know. We're just taking a guess. And yeah, that's it. We're gonna melt all of this down. And we're gonna take a pan, fill it with like an inch or so of water, and then place it on your stovetop on like medium heat and place your bowl in the pan. I like to put some foil over top just to make sure no water splashes in. And you might need to mix it a little bit to help melt everything down. And once everything's melted, remove it from heat and just mix it a bit. And I place mine in the freezer, but you can do whatever you want. Just let it completely harden. This is like 88 degrees Fahrenheit here. I just took my hand mixer and whipped it up. This stays like pretty soft, so you don't have to worry about it getting too hard. And yeah, everything just like blended really well together. So I took ballet slippers from madmica.com. These are ethically sourced mica powders and just added a bit in there. I don't know how much. You can add whatever you want for coloring, any other mica powder color you want. But um, yeah, then I added four grams of Optifin. This is the preservative. And since I am duping the Sugar Crush body scrub, this Hello Sugar fragrance oil from Bulk Apothecary is perfect. This is one of my favorite fragrances. I added four grams of that and mix that in. And then finally we can add the sugar. I used 240 grams of just basic white granulated sugar. Mix that in. And now it's time for the cranberry seeds. This is what they used in theirs. And yeah, I just added two grams of the cranberry seeds and mix that in. And then I decided to use this Voodoo Mica Powder from Mad Mica as well, cause mine just like wasn't as dark as theirs. So I wanted to darken it up. And honestly, I just ended up adding in too much because like, okay, so like here it's still too light, right? Well, after it sat for a bit, it got darker. This happens with Mica Powder sometimes. It gets dark later so you, you need to account for that sometimes because like mine was still too light here but yeah anyways i also mine ended up being way fluffier do you see how fluffy this is i think i used way more shea butter than they did because shea butter gets really fluffy when you whip it so either i just needed to whip it less or use less shea butter so if you want yours to be more like theirs then yeah account for that but this is how it looks the next day it's actually pretty soft I overall really, really like this scrub and I don't want to be biased. I mean, cause I kind of am biased, but I kind of like mine more. It's like really fluffy and theirs is kind of melty right now in the temperature. My house is, even though it's like 70 degrees. So anyways, I know you guys are always curious. How does a scrub scoop? Well, this is how she scoops. Oh, by the way, I'll have these jars linked down below. I always get questions about these jars, but yeah, it's like, of this kind of scoop like it's a pretty soft scrub overall like it feels exactly how it looks on camera like soft and fluffy and yeah it turned out a lot fluffier than i expected theirs is not fluffy and i actually had to put theirs in the freezer to get it to completely like hard enough to not be liquidy because when i first got it it wasn't liquidy and it was like this texture here it actually kind of reminds me of my best emulsified scrub recipe comparing it to this one I really like mine that I made because it like spreads really, really nicely on the skin because it's so like whipped. Like 
Look at that swatch. It spreads so nicely. And theirs is a bit harder to spread. But um, overall, I really like their scrub. But if I'm just comparing the two right now, mine spreads really well. And I really like it. But, but yeah, let me know what your thoughts are down below. And um, let me know what product you want to see me dupe. Someone to listen